Hey everybody, I'm going to try and record a video for you about how you would log in, create your account, and start using Adobe Spark. If you've already used Adobe Spark before in the past, skip this video altogether and go ahead and go on to the assignment that I've given you using it. So uh, what you're going to do is, uh, what I would do is hit the Start Now button right here at the top. And then what I would do is just continue with Google. Uh, logging in using the single sign-on through Google is always the easiest to do. Uh, when you do this, make sure that you log in with your school Gmail account. Everything will be easier that way if you do that. So I'm just going to click that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead with our uh, Fitzgerald Robotics account there. And um, just go ahead and go through everything here. Select all the, the available options. Uh, put your actual birthday in um, and you should be absolutely fine thankfully you don't need to go that far back for the birthday and then just click done and you should get to this um, I would also first uh, click this allow button Adobe Sparks sending you notifications. Go ahead and let it do that. But uh, you definitely don't necessarily want to receive emails from Adobe. So uncheck this. Yes, I'd like to receive the newsletter. And then click continue. Uh, for the scope of this, um, oh, sorry, one more thing we have to go through. Um, so class assignments is what you will click on here. Uh, you should be able to hit that little plus to turn that plus into a check and then just scroll to the bottom and click continue and we're using the free adobe spark account uh, that's all that we need to do there are other fancy things but we do not require them so this is your home page right here you're watching this particular video because we are going to make a video so over here on the right you have this create project that's where you're usually going to start. So just go ahead and do that and click on video. Then you get this wonderful loading sort of thing. Uh, and then just skip the whole title. It doesn't even matter. And then click start from scratch on the bottom. Um, all that stuff. I don't even know why they have it. I've never used it. It's unnecessary. So we will skip it and let it go. Um, now, as you're watching this one, um, as you go through this, what you should do is click play to go ahead and go through this introductory video. If you've never used it before, um, by all means, go ahead and watch that. It will help you. Uh, I have already used this, so I will not be doing that. Um, so this is available as an app on your iPhone. It is not available as an app. The Spark Video app is not available as an app on your um, Android phones. This is also available for Chromebook, Apple, and PC. So um, you can use this on everything except for uh, Android device. So as you're creating, think about it in the this bottom area right here is kind of like the Google Slides equivalent. Um, so if you want to add new things, just hit this plus to add new stuff. If you want to remove stuff, click on it and just hit the uh, three dots and delete. And you can add and remove slides like that. So on the right here, you have your layouts. Um, we're going to add this first one. When we click title, you'll see the layout change. Uh, there are three plus signs that you have. The first plus sign is allows you to add a background. So we're going to just go ahead and click photo. Uh, when you add photos, always do find free photos. Don't do any of the other stuff unless you have a bunch of photos on your Google Drive or whatever. But generally speaking, uh, find free photos is your best because it won't have all the crazy marks or weird stuff. Um, so for this one, we'll just find a picture of a computer. And we'll use that one. And it'll be nice. It'll 
uh, Spark will do all the work for you. It'll put it in, make it a really nice looking background for you. The middle plus there's the title. And uh, as you're doing this, hopefully you're doing this along with me, or maybe you'll go back through and you'll watch this. Um, this, I would just call it Spark Demo or whatnot. It's simple. Uh, you can change the size of the text if you want it smaller. The T minus, T plus will make it bigger. And then hit plus and just put your name. Now what that was telling you is that you can drag and move this text around if you want it to be in different orientations. Uh, one of the downsides of Adobe Spark is it does not give you freedom to do whatever you want. It makes it so you can only do a limited number of things, but uh, whatever you do generally looks pretty good. Now, well, a common question, can you change the color of the text? No, you cannot, not directly. What you can do is up here in this theme, um, you can pick a theme and pick different colors based on that particular theme. So some of the things in here will not change, uh, like the text may or may not, but um, this is the way these themes are the way that you actually go ahead and you change. It'll also change the transitions between your slides and stuff like that. Um, so I'll use focus right here and we'll go with that. Now the color isn't going to matter a whole lot. Uh -oh. uh, apparently some issues there. My fault. Um, well, maybe we're going to continue this one just a little bit. It appears my internet stopped working. Um, be right back. All right, crisis averted. The internet's back. Okay, so you'll see we did change some of the colors. So the background of the slides does change. However, your text in this case does not. Um, now you can add slides, like I said, you can change and use any of the layouts here. The last little part is whenever I assign a video project to you, I expect that you're going to narrate it. So this red button, to what you do is you just hold it down and the first thing it comes up with is up at the top, Adobe would like to use your microphone. Allow that or it will not work. So then as you hold down, you can record and you'll get your audio in there and it'll record whatever you say. And then you can, if you get the happy message, nice work, it'll be great. Uh, you can always test it out. So then as you hold down, you can record and you'll get your audio in there. So you can hear it recorded my narration like that. Uh, and you will have to do that for each slide that you create. Now, one thing that we forgot to mention here is that you can add music underneath of your presentation. You heard mine. Kind of hated it a little bit. Uh, let's try um, on the music tab here. Um, you can preview them. Let's go Paris 1920. So if you hit the little play, it'll preview it. And then you can just click it, it'll change it. Uh, if your music was too loud, like mine was way, way too loud. Uh, looks like my internet's gonna be wonderful again. Sweet. Um, but you can also change the volume of the music here. If you find it to be too loud or too soft, I'll use a slider up here. So now when you play it back, so then as you hold down, you can record and you'll get your audio in there. And you can see here, see, probably just a little bit too loud yet, so I'll back it down a little bit. So then as you hold down, you can record and you'll get, and there you go. That's Adobe Spark. Um, as you do this, remember, you're not necessarily trying to write paragraphs on the screen. Uh, you want to highlight information with small bullet points, short sentences, or titles. I do not want to see an entire page worth of text on here. That is not what videos are for. If I wanted to see that, I would go and I would read it. So um, as you do this, talk about the information, talk about the details you want, highlight the important points on the screen right here. So good luck. If you have questions, let me know. Uh, additionally, this is available. There's probably a 
dozen tutorials on Adobe's website or on YouTube. Uh, if this did not necessarily cover everything or if you're still having some issues, uh, before you email me and ask for help, what I would like you to do is I would like you to go and explore other options and then go from there. If you still can't find a solution, then please contact me. I'll make sure that you have all of the information you need. Good luck.